For persons with disabilities, leave no one behind means being included in each and every one of the Sustainable Development Goals. During the Millennium Development Goals era, major milestones were achieved in many East African countries, for example in education. However, persons with disabilities did not benefit from these advances in development and they were left behind. In education, for example, only a few percent of children with disabilities are in school. Uh, there, are there are several explicit references to persons with disabilities in the SDGs. They are mentioned in the goals on education, employment, reducing inequalities, inclusive cities, and also in disability disaggregated data. However, persons with disabilities must not be left behind in any of the SDGs. Inclusion of persons with disabilities is a cross-cutting issue. In other words, actions must be taken within each goal to include persons with disabilities. This means, this means promoting non-discrimination against persons with disabilities, equality and opportunities, and participation of persons with disabilities at all levels. Most importantly, it means ensuring accessibility and access for persons with disabilities. A fundamental problem is that currently very little data is available on disability and development and on the situation of persons with disabilities. So this has led to a situation in which persons with disabilities are kept invisible and therefore they're left behind from development. This means that development actors have not made disability inclusive policies and they've not budgeted for measures that ensure participation of persons with disabilities. In practice, this leads to barriers that limit the participation and inclusion of persons with disabilities. These barriers include lack of accessibility and access. For example, schools must have accessible ramps and toilets for children with physical disabilities so that they can attend school. Deaf children need sign language training and schools must provide sign language interpreters so that children who are deaf or hard of hearing can learn in school. Teachers must provide materials in braille and audio formats, as well as training on how to use them so that children who are blind or have a visual impairment can receive quality and inclusive education. Still, the major challenge that underlies all discrimination that persons with disabilities face in society are negative attitudes toward disability and ignorance about disability. Sustainable and inclusive development must include actions to raise awareness about equality and opportunities and about the rights of persons with disabilities. Good news is that all the barriers and challenges that I just mentioned can be addressed. The first action you can take is to contact the disabled people's organization that represents the rights of their members with disabilities. Perhaps you might not know how or where to start in disability-inclusive sustainable de development, but persons with disabilities certainly do know what they need and what they want. We are a resource for you. So involve persons with disabilities and their representative organizations from the very beginning and in all aspects of a project or advocacy work. This means including persons with disabilities already in the planning stages, as well as including them in the phases of implementation, monitoring and evaluation, reporting, and so on. Persons with disabilities themselves are the best source of information on how well your sustainable development action has addressed the inclusion of persons with disabilities. Another very important thing that you can do is to collect disability disaggregated data. For example, how many children, women, and men with disabilities are there in the community you're working in? And of the children and youth attending school, how many of these are children with disabilities? Or how many persons with disabilities are there in decision-making positions in a community or project? And of these, how many of them are women and men? Whenever you collect data, whether it's a baseline assessment or an evaluation of an ongoing or completed project, you should include questions that address the participation and inclusion of persons with disabilities. So making development disability inclusive from the start is cheaper, smarter, and more efficient.